Shut up, Bobby, please. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is time yet again to critique my past vegan self. Yes, often I read in my comment section, Bobby, why are you so mean? Why do you attack the vegans? Why do you bully the vegans? Guys, today I'm gonna bully myself. I'm gonna unleash my wrath upon myself. Let's do this. Bobby's raw vegan perspective. Yep, that was the original name. Hmm. There he is. Bald bearded guy. That is coffee Good vegan. Good morning, Beautiful YouTube. Island. Oh. My name is Bobby. Hey. And right now I am in Thailand mm -hmm. on the beautiful island Koh Phi Phi. True. As you can see in the background. I have to play around with my phone because the lightning is kind of brutal. I hope you guys can see it. Anyways, this is my first video ever for YouTube and I want to make a quick channel introduction, so to speak. Okay, let me cut you off right there, Bobby. First and foremost, we have to say I'm looking pretty rough. I think I look at least 10 years older than now. You can see there was no collagen left in my face. At the time, I was on a spiritual pursuit. I was on a pursuit of truth. I wanted to understand what reality is. And this is why I dived into raw veganism. But you can clearly see that it truly is the doctrine of the devil. You can see that it was eating away my flesh. It was a destructive cult. So what is this channel going to be about? Mainly it's going to be about veganism. Mm -hmm. Mainly. In my case, it is raw veganism. It's going to be about traveling as well. Full of energy. Working out. Sport in general. It's going to be about a healthy lifestyle. A healthy, sustainable lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, turns out not sustainable after all, Bobby. <laughs> and it's going to be about uh, spirituality as well. So mm. in my case, this is mainly tripping out on mushrooms. Still is. <laughs> but anyways, so I hope you enjoy it. Wow, the wrinkles in the eye area, they are so deep, really brutal. Everything was just sunken in. My whole face was collapsing. Really, really sad. And I hope you bear with me because I've been traveling I'll try. for the last two years. Mm. And all I have literally is this phone, which yep. is a HTC Desire 530. So nothing fancy. It is very very basic yes so on that note guys if you're contemplating if you want to open up a youtube channel and you don't know how back then i started my youtube channel with my phone and i didn't take the video footage and edit it on my computer i didn't have a computer so i downloaded a video editing app and i paid five bucks for it something on those lines i think the name was a video cut pro something like that and i edited the videos on my phone this is how i started bobby's perspective and this is how i ran bobby's perspective for at least one and a half years or so so there are absolutely no excuses if you want to start a youtube channel so therefore this youtube channel is not gonna look too polished still doesn't or too fancy <laughs> It's gonna be oh, very, very... Now I remind myself of raw bliss. <laughs> simple. So, I hope you don't mind. Okay, guys. Other Nobody than that, does. I have to say that this channel is gonna be super, super spontaneous. It is mm. my first time recording for YouTube, so actually I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna record myself whilst traveling, whilst working out, as I said before, whilst eating. And this is how I'm just gonna get it started and yeah, make it up from there. Fair enough. If you have any ideas, it is much appreciated. So just post down below as everybody keeps saying, right? Add your comments down below and yep. let me know what you guys are thinking. 
it's really cute to watch this. I was so innocent. Thinking, so yeah, we can go from there and create this channel. Hmm. So the reason why I'm making this channel up in the first place is that I was searching myself for raw vegan guys to get inspiration. <laughs> I was searching for raw vegan guys. Well, that came out wrong. <laughs> that was the main reason, to be honest. Uh, and I couldn't find anybody. Mm. The raw vegan channels are Fully Raw Christina and Ravana was her name, I think. Not vegan any longer. So there really weren't any guys I could find that are fully raw and for a good reason are working out whilst doing that living a for a good reason as well active lifestyle performing you know and there <laughs> do i need to say any more for i thought all right let's put out a video so the guys see that hey raw veganism is for men also it's not just for girls so it's not for anybody see that it actually works and it works super super well shut up bobby please it works super super well this is this obnoxious attitude and i'm still trying to figure out where it originates from you see it in vegans and raw vegans alike they do the diet for a couple of months tops and then they are fully convinced that it is the best way to go i was a bodybuilder prior to raw veganism i lost a ton of weight during raw veganism well i kept some muscle and therefore i was convinced raw veganism works it works super well from a guy called john rose mm, johnny and boy i'm gonna post his youtube channel in the description below because i really have to thank this dude thank you I watched his channel on juice fasting mm. or juice feasting as he likes to call it mm -hmm. and <laughs> funny guy you have to check out his YouTube video he is a funny guy indeed so for real this is a YouTube channel rather and yeah he's fully raw since 20 years or longer he's 64 he inspired me but I thought, you know what, in our age group, I'm in my late 20s and I'm approaching 30. In my 30s, I feel more vibrant and younger than in my late 20s. Video channel for us dudes Sad. and let's inspire each other, right? <laughs> All right, guys, enough said. Yes, enough said. I have to add here. All my intentions were pure, all my intentions were good, but we all know the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I really wanted to do well for my own health, for the planet, for the animals, for everything. I really believed this doctrine, but as I said, veganism is the doctrine of devils and therefore it does not matter if my intentions were good or not. Now, please enjoy the video and i'll try again apologies for my bad video quality it's all right and especially the sound quality because it's just my phone that i have on me i still hope that you guys have fun and i wish you all the best so strange i see so much insecurity in me and of course you could say yeah well it is your first youtube video of course you're gonna be a little bit insecure but honestly guys prior to veganism i had no insecurity in me whatsoever i was somewhat of an arrogant prick to be fair but still there was no insecurity no second guessing and when i went vegan i became so insecure so apologetic so scared of everything i apologized 10 times because of my video quality meanwhile it's not even that bad that is the vegan mental illness much love and peace this is how that originated <laughs>
and it hurts watching this. I know that I destroyed my body working out whilst raw veganism and whilst veganism. It was absolutely terrible. In this state, you want to rest. If you truly believe into the detoxification methods of raw veganism, well, so be it. But you should rest while practicing it. If you are detoxing, if you are malnourishing yourself, you definitely shouldn't exercise and break down body tissue that has to be rebuilt. You have no building blocks as a raw vegan. And as a vegan, you barely do as well. I was so weak, it was terrible. And I was justifying it. I was detoxing, everything was fine. Look at me, I look like a troll. I cut myself. Yeah, well, this must be one of the better shots. You can see me from the side. From the side, everything looks a little bit bigger anyways. What you can truly see here is a lot of definition. I was shredded. But none of this muscle has been built as a raw vegan. None of this muscle has been built as a vegan. I built all my muscle prior to that on a meat-based diet. Now I was deteriorating and I was clinging on to a little bit of muscle with, of course, a lot of definition because I burned my body fat. And this is the result. And now I have to apologize to everybody that I misled. I have to apologize and I have to give you my sincere sorry. Back in those days, I was deluded and I was following the wrong path. I wanted to show that people can build muscle without eating animals, which is of course complete garbage, complete nonsense. I was deluded myself, the blind leading the blind. I was lying to myself, believing that I'm this raw vegan muscle guy. Meanwhile, I was raw vegan for a couple of months here and I felt this urge to express this message with the world. Again, apologies. Not much left at all. Wow, look at me. Ay, 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 ay. Oof. Not healthy. Not healthy, Bobby. Abs shot. See, and this is what people see on YouTube then. They see this body and let's be honest, it doesn't look that bad, right? Some people work for such a physique. I understand that, but people have to emphasize. I build my muscles prior to this. So this is me at maybe 40% of the muscles left that I had prior to veganism. I was latching onto them. I was clinging onto my last amount of muscle. This is not built by plants. Yep. The whole frame was built through bodybuilding, years and years on end of workouts. Nothing to do with raw veganism at all. The only thing that has to do with raw veganism is the definition. That's all. Uh, this is sad. I just destroyed my body. Congrats, Bobby. And that is the epic shot. Must be the best positioning. Camera slightly in this angle from above. It definitely looks bigger than I was. I was weighing maybe 60 kilos at this point. And that was my peak form as a raw vegan. It only went downhill from here. Once the adipose tissue, the fatty tissue is gone, man, you will burn through your muscle. So I was even skinnier after this. Yes. Uh, Bobby, why?
It really breaks my heart seeing myself like this. I was misled. And what I was experiencing here was starvation hysteria. That is what you feel when you burn through your own body. It is a sort of cannibalism. You were young and you destroyed yourself. Bobby, thanks. Alright, just finished the workout. At no face left. Gym. And my beard quality was so dry. Park. Wow. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. It's rain season at the moment, so we don't have too much sunshine. But still, compared to back home, it's absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, just killed chest, biceps. Killed. <laughs> you just abs. killed yourself. Yeah. So now we're gonna go and start the day of eating. I'm fasting every day, so it's gonna be a full day of raw vegan eating, but it's a little bit different compared to a lot of videos that you might have seen before because I practice fasting and it's not necessarily intermittent fasting where you fast 16 hours and then you eat for eight. It's right. Okay, the memory card just got full. All right, so as I said, I'm gonna have one or two meals a day Although now that I'm traveling, I'm kind Why? of flexible with that. And so therefore what you see is that I basically yes, yeah, start eating after a 20 to 24 hour fast. And then I start eating <sighs> fruit oh. juices, rather drink fruit juices or have fresh fruit. Durian is my absolute favorite and the local bananas are beautiful too. So you're going to see how I eat today. So no further ado. Let's get straight to it. Straight to it. Our was Raw Belissa's daddy. This is where he got the inspiration from. Is this a human? Look at this. Look at the wrinkles. Look at the beard. Everything is dried out. I looked absolutely terrible. Yes, it's detox. No, it's not. It is human suffering. It is starvation. I was starving myself every single day. And I already hear the vegans. Yes, that's raw veganism. Nobody tells you to eat only one meal a day. Guys, after this period, I did the whole food plant-based diet. And in the near future, we will do video critiques of those videos as well. Where I was eating five, six whole food plant-based meals per day. Nothing works. Nothing is sustainable. This is not a human diet. Peace out. Hmm. Casual app shot. <laughs> uh, I was so addicted to durian. It's the only thing that has fat. Still love it. I have to say, durian is amazing. 6 p.m. and it's finally time to break the fast. Mm. As usual, I like to break my fast with something liquid. So here we go. It's gonna be the coconut. Oh my god, this is delicious. <laughs> All the Thai fruits are heavily sprayed. You're consuming so many chemicals on this Thai fruitarian diet. And after that, I'm going to have some bananas. They're not as ripe as I'd like them to be. Gave me terrible digestion. But still, still okay. Still did it though. And my absolute favorite since I arrived in Thailand. I look so tired. Durian. Shout out to Durian Rider. Shout out Durian Rider. <laughs> I bought a whole bag. So this is yes, my absolute favorite fruit. And that's, yeah, that's the first meal of the day. Out. Sounds good, man. So, what do we got there? We have a stack of bananas, we have durian, we have the coconut. I was eating the coconut fat as well. So, approximately, I would guess 150 carbs and around about 30 to 40 grams of 
fat. Of course, no DHA, EPA, no good omega-3 profile, no quality protein whatsoever. Absolute terrible choice, Bobby. The sound is gone. Why? I think I got a copyright strike here and I had to remove the sound. Oh well, enjoy my facial expressions, my durian gasm. Yes. Wow, oh, the wrinkles. I look like I'm gonna pass out anytime soon. Terrible. No cheeks. Bobby Brate, why? Wow. Oh, there yeah, it is again. not me. I absolutely love this thing. It's crazy good. Mm. You have to try it. When you are in Bangkok, or in Thailand for that matter. I agree. Buy some durian. Buy some durian, guys. For real. For real. Buy some meat as well, while you're at it. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was walking around and eating fruits. Very confused lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, I had a good time back then. It was pretty amazing to find something new. The novelty was intriguing. And being in Thailand, under the sun, feeling like a monkey. The overall experience was a net positive. Unfortunately, what happened afterwards, the deterioration was not as welcomed. Eating bananas in the dark. Fantastic. Okay. The sound is completely off. I don't know what is going on. No durians allowed. Yes. I don't understand it to this very day. That is Cow Sun Road in Thailand. A very touristy spot. I love Thailand. Seeing this is beautiful, I have to say. Aside from the whole fruitarianism dogma. People are so nice. <laughs> Always catering to the crazy farangs. Enough, enough. No cutting. I want to bite into it like a monkey. It was so bushy. Here you can see the reality of things. So if there is no good lighting, if there is no pump going on, you can see that my arms were rather thin. I was a very skinny dude. Of course, with the pump and with a lot of definition, you will look better. But that is not the reality of things. And the sound is gone again. Lost for words. Yes, I truly was because my body recognized calories at that point. Sugar, some plant fats, it felt good. Yep, that girl didn't like the durian at all. She almost puked. I still don't get it. I don't understand why people don't like durian. It is my favorite fruit. Yep, you can see on her face, she loves it. <laughs> I said more for me here. I remember that. Yep, you can see it here as well. Very skinny dude. Very skinny. Oh my creep. Uh, did you get that? I said cooked food is shit. Get some durian. I was so convinced. So certain. Sad, sad, sad. This is definitely one of the harder videos to react to. Some more sugar, 
Fantastic. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, very tasty. <laughs> More sugar. Yet again. Just totally addicted. Let's go on road. I know we're gonna have a late night snack. Just a couple of cucumbers. Just cucumbers. Right. <laughs> Maybe I have. Maybe I have the whole pack. Just to get a couple of greens in. Whilst traveling to get your okay. yeah, to get your amount of greens. It's kinda of tricky. In Thailand it's very, very, very fruit based, which isn't bad. But still have to keep up with the greens. Exactly. So the point of the story here is that I wasn't fully fruitarian all the year around. I was a raw vegan. I was eating humongous salads as well. And periodically I would go through fruitarianism, such as in Thailand. So this is my total food here. 500 grams, which is half a kilogram of durian. 20 baby bananas, one coconut, one smoothie, one juice four cucumbers and that is all bobby says so to sum it up it is simply all sugars with a little bit of plant oils there is absolutely no sustenance in this day of eating all right guys but the video is long enough if you enjoyed it leave it a quick thumbs up it helps a lot let me know in the comment section what you think it was quite saddening for me to watch this what i eat in a day video by yours truly when i reacted to my other vegan video where i was whole food plant-based i was cringing a lot but looking at this, I just got sad that I was following the path of destruction. This is why I have so much compassion in my heart when I see people like Raw Bliss or other fruitarians, raw vegans that are truly suffering and they simply do not see it. They are brainwashed, they are demonically possessed. It is really, really sad. All right, guys, but this is it for today if you want to support the channel all the links are in the description box below if you want raw grass-fed liver but you cannot stand the taste grassland nutrition has the solution grassland nutrition takes grass-fed organic beef liver raw and freeze dries it for you it is a convenient fantastic way to get the nutrition of liver without the taste we have Amazon links for you. You can head over there, buy whatever you might want to buy, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. We get a small share. That is a fantastic way to support Bobby's perspective. If you want grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep, butcher boxes for you. And we have CBD links as well. On top of that, guys, consider supporting Bobby's perspective through Subscribestar or Patreon. We have a VIP community there where we have Skype group calls every single week where we can discuss any topic no matter if it is health lifestyle or nutrition related on top of that by joining you straight away receive your comprehensive nutrition guide it is an ebook that teaches you the basics of nutrition but goes beyond as well and is catering to your personal goals no matter if you're keto primal paleo or even raw all right but this is it for today thank you very much for your support guys and as always much love and peace